Defense Updates has reached more than 150,000 subscribers. We're genuinely thankful to our viewers. You keep us going. We don't dilute your video watching experience in this channel with sponsored products. If you like what we're doing, kindly support us at Patreon. www.patreon.com backslash defense updates. Russian engineers have completed a key phase of a bridge that will link the annexed Crimea Peninsula to mainland Russia. Recently, a huge 6,000-ton railway arch was hauled into place 35 meters 115 feet above the sea in an operation involving hundreds of workers. The railway arch forms a section more than 200 meters in length and is high enough to allow ships to pass beneath. A similar arch for the road traffic will be lifted into place next month. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why bridge between Crimea and Russia is very significant. Number 5 Russia had annexed Crimea in 2014 in a rapid military operation. Russia says its seizure of the territory was in response to the will of locals who voted overwhelmingly to join Russia in a hastily organized referendum in 2014 that was dismissed as illegitimate by the international community. Since then, human rights groups have criticized a crackdown on freedom of speech in the region and the indigenous Crimean Tatar population has reported harassment and arrests. Number 4 Construction is being overseen by Arkady Rotenberg, a billionaire who was Vladimir Putin's childhood judo partner and has a long history of winning state construction contracts during the presidency of his old friend. Rotenberg has claimed the project is not just about money. Besides financial profit, I also want the project to mean something for future generations, he told Russian state television last year. Number 3 Crimea is linked to Ukraine by a narrow isthmus, but is separated from Russia by the Kerch Strait. Currently, the only routes to Crimea from mainland Russia are by plane or a ferry across the strait, which is often canceled due to bad weather. Plans for its construction began to take shape shortly after the annexation and were made all the more important by a series of blockades from the Ukrainian side. The border between Crimea and the rest of Ukraine is highly militarized and subject to long delays. The Russian government's draft resolution of the 1st of September 2014 required the bridge to have four lanes of vehicle traffic and a double-track railway. An official video from October of 2015 contains a CGI concept of the bridge design, annotated with various measurements. It shows a four-lane, flat-deck highway bridge running parallel with the separate two-track railway. The main span over the Kerch Strait shipping channel has a steel arch support 227 meters wide with a 35-meter clearance above the water to allow for ships to pass under. The bridge is 19 kilometers in total. There are three segments. From the Taman Peninsula to Tuzla Spit is 7 kilometers. Across Tuzla Island is 6.5 kilometers and from Tuzla Island to the Crimean Peninsula is 5.5 kilometers. The bridge has been described as the most complex construction operation in Russian history. It will be the longest bridge in the country and is projected to cost nearly 3 billion pounds. Number 2 The bridge is due to open to road traffic next year and rail traffic in 2019. It's a major part of the Kremlin's plan to integrate Crimea. The international community still regards the territory as part of Ukraine and Crimean officials and companies have been under Western sanctions since the annexation. Number 1 Russian officials hope the bridge will make it easier for Russian tourists to holiday in Crimea and for Crimean wines and produce to be transported to mainland Russia for sale. For Russia, the bridge is both a practical necessity to provide infrastructure links to the annexed peninsula and a symbolic move meant to show that Moscow has no intention of giving up control over Crimea anytime soon. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and 
kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.